All right, well, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough. I've got uh, a lot of progress here. People just left. Those are for the roof. Um, that weird plywood with the reflective barrier on it is going to be for the roof as well. I just borrowed this super long ladder. I got to run it back. But um, we got first level plywood up pretty much everywhere. You know, I'd already had those wires run. I'm going to add a few um, things. But this gives you an idea of the windows here. These are the narrow but tall windows from a distance to kind of give it, um, to make it look less tall, because this is really tall. It's an 18 foot tall wall. Um, matter of fact, while I'm here, I better shut this air compressor off. Now that I got the, you know, electricity out here, I can use the big compressor rather than have everybody bring their little tiny compressors that just make a lot of noise. Um, and so that's on the garage side so far. On the two car garage side, pick up this, it's got some nails in it. On the two car side, same thing, sheeted in with plywood. You can see the more wide windows, but a little bit shorter. So a lot of light in here too. So first level plywood, again, we got uh, all these hold downs uh, straightened out. So the whatever's on the bottom, it's an HDU4 has an opposite mirrored HDU4 on the top, drilled through all that wood, and that one has, you know, another HDU4. So um, a lot of hold downs, you know, hold down, 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 strong wall with a second strong wall with the stacking kit, another strong wall with the stacking kit, a hold down here, a hold down here. There's gonna be reverse hold downs, but this wall right above that's not quite done. Um, so same over here, got the big hold down, the big hold down, the reversed hold down. This one I still gotta work on. Um, that's why these are still laid out right here. Uh, got this one in, finally got this hold down put in and got the uh, big post up. That's a 28 foot paralam, uh, actually a micro lamb, not nah, paralam. Uh, beam and put in this four by six right here with the hold down that goes through all this wood and has a matching hold down so everything's super secured there um, now you can kind of get a better idea of the shape of the bathroom here the lower bathroom so we're gonna put a barn door here like a sliding barn door here and a sliding barn door here this is more of like you know utility closet the hot water heater and stuff um, and so progress out here has been pretty substantial as well um, finally got uh, all the all, all the piers have their hold down bolts now so one of the next things they're gonna do is start building the uh, building the wood posts to support the deck so they're all you know these bolts actually had to get drilled and anchored in with epoxy and I brought this machine back here because we were moving some stuff around um, when I went to do this pier the the uh, Isaiah Cornerstone Pier here. Um, I had to chip off any non-structurally sound parts. So actually this big chunk of this rock, when I was cutting it, actually started a fracture. So I broke it off in pieces. I cut off all these um, huge chunks of pure granite seven inches down into the rock and Drilled 12 inches into the rock and set 18 inch hardened steel pins in it. Epoxy those in with a witness to, you know, it was a, I had to had have a deputy inspection witness come and made sure it was done properly. And now this is a totally sound, rebarred, um, reinforced concrete post that's using the rock, the 25 foot deep granite boulder, um, as the footing. So that's all. That right there was a whole day with concrete that's why the concrete mixer is out here I better grab the sweatshirt because it's brand new and I'm gonna forget it out here and get blown away um, and so we got the one window here there will be no window here until we get up to the second level and so this was a this was this was quite a big project here so those bolts are ready to go ready to accept the uh, the green board base plates as well and then we'll build up from there 
but before we focus on the deck and porch um, we're gonna really keep going with the main structure so we'll run up the stairs right now the stairs I uh, got a lot of progress. This is all stuff for the deck. So these are the beams that are going to support it this way. And these are micro lamb LVL. Um, I don't know, kind of like floor joists or little beams too that are going to go this way. It's going to be sloped an inch and a half lower on this end than you know, a little bit of downhill so that the rain will run off the end. And that's going to be a lightweight uh, Dexatex concrete. So here are the stairs. The stairs are finished, the back plate and the top. Um, by the time we put the riser on, they're going to be a little longer, or the, the riser, but the tread is going to be a little longer. And so 18 steps. Um, there will be this window right here. All right, so on your way up the stairs, you know, you get quite the view. And then here's the landing. So the plan is to... We, we put in for an optional French door right here, so we're still figuring out the details, but we'll put in a probably 30-inch door. This wall is up now, um, two-thirds of it anyway, so you can get an idea. You know, that's, that's, that's high up there. Um, all these are propped up and nailed in. Unfortunately, tomorrow we're not going to be able to do any work. They're calling for 30 mile an hour winds. So that's way too windy to have anybody working at this height. So tomorrow's an off day. Um, we got this wall with this window framed out. This door is a French door that goes out to the deck. This window um, goes over the kitchen sink. And then we got this wall up right here. And this is gonna be where the range is. So the kind of the, the kitchen's gonna do the wraparound thing here. Come out this way. So that's what you're looking at. The island will be here. So you can see that's the, uh, that's the view out the kitchen window. Like if we were standing at the sink, this is, this is what you'd see. So, um, and then, as part of this uh, wall, there's the small door here. This small door is going to go into a, a pantry, food pantry. And then this door is, it's not really a door, it's more of a hallway opening. And so um, this hallway opening is going to come through here. There'll be the washer and dryer here. Um, this would be a wall for the pantry. And then this is where you'd enter the actual master bedroom. Um, and then, you know, this whole area is the master bedroom. This is the view out one window. There's going to be another window here, but this wall is not up quite yet. So, um, once that's up, there'll be a matching window. All these windows are this size. Um, let me think what, what they are. Five feet by four feet, five feet wide, four feet tall. Or it might be six feet by four feet. I actually forget. Let's check right now. They're actually six. So that's three. Yeah, there's six. Up, yeah, that's what they are. Six feet by four feet upstairs. So they're 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 substantial sliding windows, pretty big. Um, and then the floor for the shower is still a little work in progress. That's the recessed one. So we're kind of going to work on the walls, get the walls where we want them, and then put some blocking in and drop the recessed floor in, and then. Uh, this wall is basically built, but needs to get tilted up. Because these walls are so tall and they end up so heavy and we can't really get a machine up here, we're actually leaving the top plates off and the blocking out and tilting it up as light as possible, then going through and adding all the blocking while it's upright, and then adding the top plate and the second top plate while it's upright. So that's just work that really can't be done tomorrow. We did put this wall up to brace these two with the wind we're expecting and put up some extra support braces. And so, um, really that's the, that's the quick update. Um, maybe not so quick, but that's the thorough update. I will not be around for the next two days, so I won't have anything to report. Um, these guys will be working Friday, but I'll be at work, work, work Friday. So, um, there's what you see. So update you next time.